The 2021 14-inch MacBook Pro has been around for over 18 months now. I've used this laptop and I did everything on it, so I think my experience will cover everything you want to know before buying it. In this video, I'll give you five reasons why you should buy this MacBook, even in 2023. Before I list all things, let's admit right off the bat one thing. 18 months for a MacBook is not a long time. It's not an old MacBook and is very much capable of doing everything, but the real question is who should buy it and why? Let me break down the first reason why this MacBook is the best choice this year. The display and speakers are top-notch. Maybe you don't think it's a big deal, but trust me, it is. The screen is 14.2 inches and it's incredibly bright and colorful with lots of contrast. The resolution is so sharp and it's easy to see everything even when you're working outside on a sunny day. The deep blacks are also amazing thanks to the mini LED technology and when you're watching movies at night, you won't see those annoying gray lines at the top and bottom. But the real magic is in the Pro Motion feature. It has a 120Hz refresh rate, which makes scrolling through things feel like magic. The interface is so smooth and responsive and it makes me feel like a pro even though I'm just doing casual work most of the time. This display can turn boring tasks into exciting ones. Plus, the M2 Pro MacBook uses the exact same panel which kind of shows how great this display is. It's definitely the best screen you can get for the price but we'll talk more on that later. If we talk about display, I think speakers are kind of in the same category. So let's talk about them. I'll be honest, I usually use my AirPods while working, but whenever I want to relax or and watch a movie, this MacBook does not disappoint. The sound quality is so rich and loud that you feel completely immersed in the music or movie, almost as if you are in a different world. It's a truly remarkable experience. And what's more, on the 2023 MacBook Pro, the speakers got slightly worse which is a shame. We tested that in our in-depth comparison of these two laptops, so be sure to check it out. The speakers are yet another reason why the 2021 model is the way to go. Let's move on to the second reason why this MacBook is the best choice for 2023, it's battery life. Now, for all the tech-savvy viewers out there, this may not come as a surprise, but hear me out. This laptop's battery life is nothing short of exceptional. I can start my day with a full charge and still have plenty of juice left by the evening. Even with all the demanding tasks I throw at it, like video editing, designing thumbnails, writing scripts, and other activities. With this MacBook, I can work from cafes and parks, and it does open up a whole new world of possibilities and use cases. Of course, most of the time I work from home, but even with constant access to outlets, I love using this laptop in bed or on a couch. Sure, with the more intensive tasks, it won't last a full day, but it will still outperform any Windows laptop. The third reason why this MacBook Pro is great this year, it's exceptional performance. Now, I know this may not have the M1 Max chip inside, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's a base machine with an unbent M1 Pro. It comes with 10 CPU cores, 14 GPU cores, 16 gigs of memory, and 512 gigs of storage. Everything you need to get started. This MacBook Pro's performance is mind-blowing. We did a comparison with the M2 Pro, and this MacBook came out as a winner in some tests. For example, in DaVinci, the M1 Pro finished exporting a heavy 4K 10-bit project five seconds faster than the M2 Pro. In Lightroom, the export of 50 raw images took only one second longer, and in the programming test, the M1 Pro was beaten by only five seconds. In Unreal Engine, the average FPS on M1 Pro was lower for real-time rendering, but just in rendering, the M1 Pro has beaten the M2 Pro by 44 seconds. Even in Logic Pro, the difference was razor thin, with M1 Pro crashing only nine seconds prior with the same number of tracks. M2 Pro and M1 Pro are almost identical. So if you buy this 2021 MacBook now, you'll get the 2023 level of performance. With these internals, you'll have so much headroom to work with and it will just fly through any task you throw at it. With 16 gigs of unified memory, you will be able to keep a ton of tabs open at once without any reloads and the fast storage enables swap without destroying 
the performance. Moreover, its power efficient chip combined with a robust coating makes sure you won't burn your lap or hands while using it. So yeah, the performance on this thing is nothing to be laughed at. What is also not to be laughed at is the sponsor of today's video. Here is what the real problem is. Bulky chargers. Apple made chargers may look stylish and be cool, but when it comes to size and versatility, they just lose the game. That's why I want to introduce you to free solutions from Ugreen. Nexode Mini 30 watts, 45 watts, and 100 watts. The Nexode Mini 30 watts can charge an iPhone 14 Pro Max to 55% in just 30 minutes and features thermal guard technology for real-time protection. The Nexo 45 watts supports Samsung Superfast Charging 2.0 and dual port simultaneous charging and is compatible with a range of devices, both Apple made and by other companies. The Nexo 100 watts provides up to 100 watts of power with its free USB-C ports and one USB-A port and supports multiple charging protocols such as power delivery 3.0 and Quick Charge 4 Plus, which is great for charging multiple devices on the go. All three chargers feature built-in safety systems for protection against overheating, overcharging, and more. The chargers are super sleek and are the best option for those who need a really rugged and versatile solution for everyday use or for travel. For me at least, popping one of these chargers in a backpack when heading out is a must, so you might as well be like me. Anyway, check them out, the links are in the description. The fourth reason why I absolutely love this MacBook Pro and recommend it to everyone is the way it feels in hands. This industrial design just exudes confidence and professionalism. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but for me, it's a perfect fit. The robust build quality makes me feel like I'm holding a tool and not a fragile piece of tech. This design doesn't try to be thin or flashy, it's unapologetically thick and heavy, which gives it a rugged and durable feel. What's more, its size and weight are just right. It's not too heavy, that's a burden to carry around, but also not too small that it becomes impractical. I can easily slide it into my backpack and take it with me wherever I go. Plus, the build quality is exceptional. The seams, the edges, everything fits together perfectly. It doesn't creak, bend, or flex. Now, I think it's a good time to list its flaws. First, the keyboard. It's very pleasant to type on, but absolutely terrible in terms of durability. These buttons are already worn so much, and I'm not even typing that much. And I can't replace the keyboard, so when it gets super worn, you'll have to pay Apple hefty price for repair or just sell this Mac and buy a new one. Plus, I think, I just think, the battery itself is not a very good quality, or at least the battery management system doesn't work very well. I mainly use this MacBook plugged in, but the battery already has weirdly low health with a relatively small number of cycles. Maybe I'm exaggerating a bit, but I think this should not happen that fast with such a number of cycles. I have also talked many times about the MagSafe charging cable, it's just super dirty and there is no way to prevent that from happening. You'll have to live with that. Just imagine how it will look like in two more years. The fifth reason why this 2021 MacBook is a perfect machine for 2023 is its affordability. Despite its impressive specs and performance, it's surprisingly affordable, especially if you opt for a refurbished model. Apple sells refurbished M1 MacBook Pros for just over $1,500, which is a fantastic deal considering the quality of this machine. In fact, the M1 MacBook Pro is so good that it's hard to justify spending an extra $500 for the M2 Pro, which is essentially the same computer with a slightly faster processor. And let's be honest, most of us don't need the absolute latest and greatest technology to get our work done. But what really makes the M1 MacBook Pro such a great value is its longevity. In a few years, this MacBook will still be a powerhouse, will still look good, still have a fantastic screen, and so on. Those who buy it now won't regret it, for sure. This MacBook Pro is a great choice for anyone looking for a reliable, high-performance laptop at an affordable price. If you're a student, this laptop is an excellent investment that will last you for your studies and beyond without becoming outdated or sluggish. It's also perfect for content creators who need a powerful workstation that can handle even the most complex video editing. And for serious professionals, this laptop offers a level of performance and reliability that is unmatched by other laptops in its 
its price range. Even if you are just a casual user who wants a laptop for browsing the web or watching movies, this MacBook Pro is the perfect choice. So regardless of who you are or what you need a laptop for, this MacBook Pro is an excellent choice. And the fact that I'm still using it only confirms my point.